الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبت في الله the question has been asked uh, many times about my books uh, this here is my maybe half my books or a little less because I have a book collection in America um, a lot of the ulama you see and you'll find that they have big book collections and you need it as a resource if you are someone who is into books and into research and so since that is basically my life my only real possession that I keep uh, permanently is my books and the books are obviously useful here I have a lot of Akita books as far as my personal collections I have a lot of some political science books here on the bottom which are English and Islamic history in English and things like that related to my topic for research uh, I have a lot of Akita books because Akita is something uh, aside from its importance it's something of great interest to me uh, a lot of Salafi Akida books, <clears throat> Akida Bahla Sunnati Wal Jama'a. And basically, I like thick books, the big thick books, and some smaller ones, but especially the big ones of the four different medhebs as resources. It's very important. Um, in addition, I have uh, a lot of hadith books that are hadith uh, as far as sharh. Uh, the explanations of hadith I, that's what I like I like knowledge that's practical those are the most of my books and then I have books some usul of fiqh books which are important Qa'id fiqhia books Arabic language books um, and books I can't get to and so I don't have much as far as in the sciences of hadith that's not really my interest as much just a few basic books just to have basic knowledge because that is not again my interest or specialty I spent most of my years studying Akida mostly Akida books and some fiqh and then some of the courses that I've done that have given me a chance to do more well-rounded books uh, I began my book collection when I lived in Yemen when I initially came to Yemen when I couldn't even read Arabic I bought my first bunch of books we were in Damaj there was a book fair coming in Sana we gave some money a few hundred dollars they came back with a lot of books for us uh, or maybe if you know whatever it was back then and that's where I begin collecting my books I have probably in America 80 to 100 cartons cigarette cartons of books which is probably twice this here uh, and this is about 35 to 40 cartons so I have to try to get this to America when I leave Saudi Arabia which will probably be within within a year to come back to America so this is uh, a little bit about my books books are very important whenever Allah wants good for a person gives them understanding of the religion and you need the books as a resource as I said the ulama it also depends on what your what your goals are not everybody needs a mektaba not everybody needs a mektaba like this people some people have bigger mektabas some people have smaller mektabas but it just depends on what your thing is this is what I do I read books I like books I've always collected things before Islam I collected records I had music all my the genres that I loved you know when it was hip-hop I had to have every kind of every style East Coast West Coast whatever coast I wanted it you know that's what I liked to do so now Alhamdulillah is a Muslim and I was I loved books too then and now uh, my thing is uh, Islamic books Akita books Fatawa these are all Fatawa this is a this right here is a Mejmu of uh, Imam al-Albani's uh, just about Akida. These are from his tapes. Mosul al Alama Imam Mujaddid al Asr Muhammad Nasruddin al Labani. So, this is all books, these volumes here 
uh, Imam al Bani's in Aqidah. This is one of the major scholars in Saudi Arabia. His his fatawa that passed, uh, Saleh bin Ali bin uh, Rasul. Uh, this is uh, fatawa uh, bin Uthaymin. This is uh, Nur al Darb. This was on the, from the radio. All these fatawa were fatawa he gave on that program. Uh, this is some. Uh, this is also Al Albani, uh, uh, Jeremy Falat uh, Al Albani. Yeah, this is also this is Ben Baz's. Uh, not all of his fatawa, but uh, a significant part of it, and Bulug Maram. So anyway, this is um, this is how we do it. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala grant us uh, success and tawfiq. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.